we'll start uh, what is meant by OOPS concept here. And after the OOPS concept, uh, uh, we will see how to how to start uh, with the coding in Salesforce. Simple coding. You can uh, you can create this coding by yourself, and you can be a coder without any knowledge uh, on. Uh, on the coding also. If you are a BA candidate or become candidate or an arts group, you can also code this this sales course. First we need to know what are all the basics here and we will start the we will start the coding with the OOPS concepts to the OOPS concepts for OOPS. OOPS is nothing but object oriented object oriented program object oriented program okay. and here we have certain methods we called it as we have certain methods here and we called it as that method like uh, I have defined, um, uh, okay, you will see that, first is method, and the second one is class, and the third one is uh, object, fourth one, data hiding, Encapsulation, seventh one, inheritance, inheritance, eighth one, polymorphism. And the tenth one is uh, interface. 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 See, uh, what are all things now? Object oriented program. We called it as to start coding in Salesforce. We, uh, we need to know about the OOPS concepts. The, the OOPS, OOPS concept is called as object object oriented program and we have mm, methods class object and data hiding abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism constructor and interface so what is the method first we need to know one by one uh, one by one i will go okay method yeah, what is the method the method is called as set of set of functions set of functions or statements it it contains a, a written type or a value it contains a return return type or value we will discuss about it. what is the type and what is the value we will discuss And the simple thing for method, how we can write in syntax. The syntax is nothing but the syntax is is nothing but uh, it is acts uh, like a for formula to, to write a code.
Yeah. 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 What is meant by access specifier and return type and method name? I will clearly explain you what are all things about this class. Argument one, comma, argument uh, two, comma, argument uh, three as follows. And afterwards, the open braces and the closed braces. In that, here. We need to mention set of statements. Set of statements. Okay, and this is called a simple method. When we, uh, if you want to write the example for the simple method, and this is a, a, a syntax, or, or else you can uh, you can call uh, in a mathematical way like a formula. And write the example for this. Uh, example public void wish. Open braces, close braces. Statement should be like system dot d but of invited quotations welcome to SFDC SFDC the last we need to write semicolon okay and here now we will see one by one what is meant by a public void wish okay specifier it is visible to all the users it provides security it provides security to the And in access specifiers, we have public, private also. Private, want to write private, private, it is used, it is used only for the current user. It is like, uh, it, uh, it, we can't share the data or the code to other users so we can uh, we can access that data to the current user itself okay and here void void the, the second one is void void is a return type return type okay return type it doesn't return uh, return any value any value and next is wish wish how we call it as wish wish is our name like uh, our wish name you, you can write any name on that like wish or um, or a program or Naresh or Suresh or uh, calci or math or physics cam you can write anything as you wish the name is 
we can customize the name as you wish here for, for this example i have written as wish wish is method name method name and another one is system CS. it is a namespace or class in the salesforce See, its system is a default keyword which is defined in the sftc salesforce dot debug and we have debug here debug uh, it is a predefined predefined static method given by the system that means it has the th a system has a, a subclass of debug we call it as debug it is a predefined static method so we write it as system dot debug if you are a java programmer you, you will be able to understand what i have written here it is a simple align system dot debug okay this is a simple method here so we have written a simple method. execution i will show you the execution but previous uh, but primarily for the execution purpose we need to know what are all the data types here data types we use in, in salesforce how many data types are there and what are they see the data types are integer decimal string id boolean date date time okay and, the, and these are the data types we use in, in salesforce see how it looks now integer what is the uh, what is in by integer integer is nothing but a a number it may be a it may be a a, 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 a positive number or negative number or negative negative number okay like plus 256 comma minus 256 it may be anything decimal decimal is is nothing but a, a negative uh, a negative and positive uh, like example 10.5 comma 3.5 comma 2.5 comma you can write anything but it, it should be in a point five, point or uh, five, two, three, four, anything you can write afterwards. Okay. We call it as decimal here. String, string, string is nothing but a accumulation of characters. We call it as a string. Like it should be in example. It should be in invited quotations. Raja. Kama or double quotation Raja Kama Rama Kama Ravana anything ID ID is the most important uh, uh, most important that right in Salesforce uh, ID contains 15 or a 15 or 18 characters it will be like 00 1 2 3 4 
it looks like this. Uh, the idea looks like this. I will show you that uh, how uh, we, where we can get this ID from Salesforce. I will show you that later. And Boolean. Boolean is nothing but true or false. True or false. This is called a Boolean. And date. You know about that. You have other date field also. C A M M. Uh, month slash bd slash yy you can mention you can mention whether the system date values like yeah m yeah m m is one as month and dd is for a date and yy is for year date and time and date and time is is nothing but date with the time mm dd slash Y Y Y and H H minute minute. Okay. I hope you got it about now. What is meant by a method and the data type? Okay. We will see small examples on this, and we will execute in Salesforce so that. You can get easily how to write the code in, in Salesforce. See, uh, if you are a, not a programmer also, you can write the code with these things. I, I feel that everything is not a rocket science. We can learn anything, we can learn anything easily if we concentrate for a while we can learn easily any type of things i hope everything is not a rocket science you can learn anything whether it may be a code or applications or a, or programs to run anything you can run well uh, if you are from it though you are from the pa background a become background or or non-programmer background also you will be a programmer if you learn these things the simple thing you will be a expert in this and, and thank you i hope you got it